yeah. Thus, the wavelength corresponding to the maxima is inversely proportional to the absolute temperature. And therefore, we can uh, <coughs> mathematically we can put this way lambda m inversely proportional to temperatures. This is very important thing. Uh, lambda m inversely proportional to temperature that means lambda m into t equal to constant okay so t is missing here now this is the wins displacement law so what wins displacement law mathematically uh, propose that the <coughs> maximum wavelength is inversely proportional to absolute temperature and this this explain that why the color of the hard body changes on heating you know that if you take the metal stick or iron stick and heat it from low temperature to the high temperature, you will find there is a changes in the color. So why there is a changes in the color? The changes in the color is because of the change in the wavelength. Because if you increase the temperature of the that metal body from low value to the from lower temperature to the higher temperature, so accordingly there will be the decrease in the value of the wavelength and colors are related to the wavelength. And because the colors are related to the wavelength, with increase in the temperature, you will find a, 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 that metal metal body will show the different color on heating. Okay, so this is the reason. So why the color of the hard body changes on heating? It has been explained on the basis of the Wien's displacement law through this mathematical equations lambda m <coughs> inversely proportional to temperatures. Okay, hope you understood this. Now, in order to explain again the black body radiations, the another scientist, Raleigh and Jeans use the classical mechanics. So, according to Wien's radiations law, uh, uh, listen here, black body <coughs> radiations, which is again explained by the Raleigh and Jeans by using the concept of the classical mechanics. Now, according to Wien's radiations law, <coughs> Wins propose one mathematical equation that is E lambda equal to 8 pi hc divided by lambda to the power 5 into exponential minus hc divided by lambda kt. So, this equation which was put forward by the Wins, it is applicable to the shorter wavelength only. See here, which equation? E lambda equal to 8 pi hc divided by lambda to the power 5 into exponential h minus hc divided by lambda kt. You can call it as equation number 1. So, this equation number 1 applicable to the shorter wavelength only, where H Planck's constant, C velocity applied, <coughs> lambda wavelength, you know, K Boltzmann constant, T absolute temperature, okay. And <coughs> Raleigh and Jeans, they again proposed one mathematical equations. Of course, both are based on the classical mechanics. And this equation is E lambda equal to 8 pi kt divided by lambda to the power 4. So, remember that. First equation which was developed by the Wien's, that is popularly called as Wien's radiations law and this Wien's radiations law that is E lambda equal to 8 pi hc divided by lambda to the power 5 into exponential minus hc divided by lambda kt. This is applicable at shorter wavelength whereas the another equation which was developed by the Raleigh and Jeans that is E lambda equal to 8 pi kt divided by lambda to the power 4, it is applicable to the longer wavelength. That means one equation applicable to the shorter wavelength, another, e application, another equation applicable to the longer wavelength, but none of the equation here, it is as such which is applicable to the over entire region of the spectrum. So, there is a limitations of this equation. Equation 1 is specific that is applicable to the shorter wavelength sides only. Whereas, equation number 2 applicable to the longer wavelength side only. So, there is no specific equations here that can be applicable to the <coughs> overall entire region of the spectrum. And therefore, both the equations fail to explain the black body radiation over the entire region of the spectrum. <coughs> uh, along with this, what you have seen? that large amount of the energy emitted by the black body in higher frequency region that means at low see see here here large amount of the energy emitted at lower wavelength lower wavelength means higher frequency so why large amount of energy is emitted at lower wavelength region so what is the what is the reason behind it why there is a maximum amount of energy radiated at lower wavelength sides okay so 
<coughs> classical mechanics has no answer but this phenomena is called as the ultraviolet catastrophe okay so amount of maximum phenomena of emission of here phenomena of emission of maximum amount of the energy at low wavelength site is known as the ultraviolet catastrophe so classical mechanics fails to explain the ultraviolet catastrophe that means what is the reason why there is a uh, maximum amount of energy radiated by the black body in higher frequency region or you can call it as lower wavelength region okay so in this way classical mechanics fails to explain the properties of <coughs> or phenomena of black body radiations now <coughs> the new phenomenon was introduced new concept was introduced after the classical mechanics and that is popularly called as the quantum mechanics so quantum mechanics that is based on this observation number 1 the energy emitted as i told you in the beginning of this units energy emitted are absorbed in the form of small packet this small packet is known as the quanta energy of each quanta equal to h nu and total amount of energy emitted r absorbed by the body is equal to integral multiple of h nu so remember again the concept of the quantum mechanics what quantum mechanics said energy emitted no problem energy absorbed still no problem but it is not in a continuous manner but it is in the form of the pockets this each pocket is known as the quanta energy of each pocket energy of one quanta equal to h nu and how much will be the total amount of energy radiated so it said that the total amount of the energy radiated as per the quantum mechanics is equal to integral multiple of h nu so n into h nu okay so here max planck proposed a mathematical equations for energy radiated at wavelength lambda so that is the planck's radiations law so planck's radiations law proposed one mathematical equations see here what is that mathematical equation e lambda equal to 8 pi h c divided by lambda to the power 5 into 1 divided by exponential h c divided by lambda kt minus 1 so you can call it as equation number 3 okay see this equation is looking to the same as that of the wien's law see here <coughs> e lambda equal to 8 pi h c divided by lambda to the power 5 into exponential minus h c divided by lambda kt but what is this equation here e lambda equal to 8 pi hc divided by lambda to the power 5 into 1 divided by so this is what the there is a change so 1 divided by exponential hc divided by lambda kt minus 1 so this is the equation which was developed by the max planck now <coughs> max planck <coughs> proposed that this equation explain the black body Uh, radiations phenomena of black body radiation over the entire region of the spectrum now let us check whether this equation that is equation number 3 is correct or not thus equation 3 that is e lambda equal to 8 pi hc divided by lambda to the power 5 into 1 divided by exponential hc divided by lambda kt minus 1 so <coughs> we have to check the validity because unless and until we check the validity we can't believe blindly that the this equation is explain the phenomena of black body radiation so we must have to check so let us check this validity of the equation number 3 which was proposed by the max planck okay so <coughs> science believe on the checking and validations of the entire facts so let us check the facts okay so suppose you consider you you check this equation or you apply this equation at the shorter wavelength so see here at shorter wavelength this exponential factor which factor this e exponential raised to the power hc divided by lambda kt so <coughs> which condition you considered here shorter wavelength that means lambda is small so when the lambda is small the entire exponential value become very very greater than 1 so remember that at shorter wavelength the exponential value that is e raised to the power hc divided by kt is very very greater than 1 and as this value is very very greater than 1 according to the concept of the mathematics one can be neglected okay so if you ignore the one <coughs> what will you will get what you will get here e lambda equal to 8 pi hc divided by lambda to the power 5 into exponential minus hc divided by lambda how how it becomes minus because one is ignored from this and this 
e raised to the power hc divided by lambda uh, kt this takes up that is uh, when you <coughs> shift this to the numerator so power become minus okay so here e lambda equal to 8 pi hc divided by lambda to the power of u into exponential minus hc divided by lambda kt so this is nothing but the wind's displacement law okay so at shorter wavelength this equation takes the form of the wind's law you can see here this is wind's law Okay. So, what here at shorter wavelength max equation takes the form of the Wien's law and that means we can say that yes this equation is hold good at shorter wavelength region also. Okay. Now let us see at longer wavelength what will happen. So at longer wavelength E raised to the power Hc divided by lambda kt. What here the lambda is more. So when the lambda is more the entire value become less than 1. So, when the entire value become less than 1, so we have to take <coughs> the expansion of this exponential term. So, e raised to the power hc divided by lambda kt, this is the mathematical expansion, that is equal to <coughs> 1 plus hc divided by lambda kt plus hc divided by lambda kt it square plus hc divided by lambda kt it's cube and so on like this so higher power terms here neglected being it is having very less value so we have to put this exponential hc divided by lambda kt equal to 1 plus hc divided by lambda kt in equation number 3 so if you put it what you will get here e lambda equal to 8 pi hc divided by lambda to the power 5 into 1 was <coughs> as it is 1 divided by so instead of hc divided by lambda kt we have to put this value only very simple mathematics okay so 1 plus hc divided by lambda kt plus dot 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 these are not the minus signs these are the dot 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 because containing higher terms we have already neglected it okay <coughs> so bracket close minus 1 so this minus 1 and plus 1 get cancelled so what will remain here 1 divided by hc divided by lambda kt now this lambda kt <coughs> you just bring in <coughs> Uh, to the upward that is uh, bring to the numerators so what you will get here e lambda equal to 8 pi hc divided by lambda to the power 5 into lambda kt divided by hc uh, if certain things are there that can be cancelled see here h and h will get cancelled Wh 1 lambda is here here lambda to the power 5 so 1 lambda will get cancelled with the lambda to the power 5 so lambda 4 will remaining so the total is 8 pi then k and then t c c also get cancelled so 8 pi k t divided by lambda to the power 4 and this equation is nothing but the Rayleigh's law that means <coughs> the equation which was put forward by the max planks is applicable to the shorter wavelength as well as longer wavelength means we can say that the quantum mechanics successfully explain the phenomena of black body radiations over the entire region of the spectrum so <coughs> in overall we can conclude that black body radiations fails to explain the phenomena uh, classic sorry classical mechanics fails to explain the phenomena of black body radiations whereas quantum mechanics successfully explain the phenomena of black body radiations okay so <coughs> where classical mechanics fail classical mechanics develop two equations one equation which is Wien's equation, Wien's displacement law applicable to the lower wavelength region. Another equation, Rayleigh's law applicable to the higher wavelength region. But none of the equation in classical mechanics is available that can be applicable to the entire region of the spectrum. On the contrary, quantum mechanics develop one mathematical equation, this one, that is E lambda equal to 8 pi hc divided by lambda to the power 5 into 1 divided by exponential hc divided by lambda kt minus 1 so this is the very beautiful equations that can be applicable to the shorter wavelength one equation only we have the one equation in quantum mechanics so one equation is applicable to the shorter wavelength same equation is applicable to the longer wavelength side that means that it means that quantum mechanics successfully explain the phenomena of black body radiation over the entire region of the spectrum so, uh, hope uh, you understood this. If you have the, any difficulties, you may ask me on, on phone. Okay. So, with this.
today i will stop here rest